Yeah, I was just so fascinated by Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali. I just love the speed, the, the whole art of martial arts. Um, but I knew it was out of the question for me, being an Asian female, petite, uh, Bangladeshi, being Muslim. And I just knew my family would never allow me to do this. So I was actually training in secret for the first five years and I was very traditional, from a very traditional background. I was going through a personal problem. I was an antidepressant, I was suffering from panic attacks. And at that point, I decided that I'm gonna tell my parents because I felt like I was living a double life. And I think they felt really reassured that I wasn't going against my values, I wasn't going against my religion. I was in a safe place. And even though they gave me their blessing, they never actually formally said to me, go ahead, it's your gym time. They've always just kept quiet. So I took that silent consent. And then afterwards, when I became a world champion, I think my father jumped out of his bed. I got home just past midnight and my father jumped out of his bed, started calling his friends. I knew he was proud. I knew he was, he was so enthusiastic and so proud of me. I think that's the point I decided I can do this. It's more than a passion. It's more than a hobby. I've got what it takes to go all the way. So. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to find a passion that I was able to pursue and, you know, this became home for me.